another episode of Sons of Anarchy. I think we're on episode five now. I'm pretty sure we've gone past four. Yes, we're on episode five. Um, I just want to, don't want to waste any time, I just want to get straight into this one. But I would really appreciate if you guys could watch this one all the way through. And the reason why I'm saying this one is because this is a really good episode and this is very crucial. Um, so if you're one of my viewers, for instance, I'm not saying it's all of you, but if you're one of my viewers, for instance, that watch an episode here and then an episode there, like there and here, not all the time, every single time one's published, but rare occasion, then if you miss this episode out, you won't maybe understand the next episode, um, as this one is quite crucial. Um, you do find out some details in this episode, more details, um, obviously about John, and there is some other more details, uh, interesting details that are quite funny, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys could just watch this one all the way through, and of course you don't have to, but I would really appreciate it, and it would mean a lot. Um, other than that, let's just get into this reaction, and I'll see you all guys through the video. Is it? Office took over the homicide. Found semen on Luann. Bobby's. Are you serious? That's the last guy. Tapping a bitch, usually the one who killed her. Bobby didn't kill Luann Otto. Someone did. I want you to ask Claire a question. What would it feel like to lose the one he loved the most? It won't be up and running till tomorrow. All right. This will babysit till then. I'll set up the pickup, huh? Hey, amigo, you forgetting something? What's that shipment his for Kelly? Keeping his safe lens on me. One guy. Rafi, stick around, huh? Let's go. This inside Oak Town's gang unit say a major player surfaced in Northern Cali, the Lindo Cartel. So if I find out that you guys are bringing weight into San Juan, I will cripple you. Where the hell are you going with this? Well, I'm not going after your club. I'm going after the drugs. You're a sheriff, man. You ain't got the reach for any of this shit. I got important friends. How important? I will let you know. From the motorcycle show. I can't wait. Wow. It's gonna be a lot more. All in cash? No strings, no tax. <sighs> this is real, babe. Just like I promised you. Okay. JT would have never touched drugs. John knew that anything that brought too much heat was bad for the club. That's why he changed his mind about the guns. Yeah, he talked about uh, getting us out. Now, he did more than talk. He set a meet with the IRA. Made a decision to get us out of the gun running business. A decision that you couldn't let him live with. Your near-death experience gets you talking to ghosts, old man? No, not exactly. We found some old letters. Proof that he wanted out. Proof that he uh, feared you would do something to stop him. Before that meet could ever happen, John Teller was murdered. JT let his bike down on 580. He was crushed by a semi. It was an accident. We'll never know. Lowell Sr. disappeared the next week. And he was the only one JT trusted to work on his bike. You kill the drug muling. Or I'll let the rest of the club read the letters. You ain't got any letters. <laughs> okay. Doesn't matter to me. Either way, I get what I want. It's a goddamn cartel. I just can't walk away from the deal. Sure you can. And in case you're still thinking about slitting my throat, I wouldn't. I have uh, contingencies in place. Now, so Pioneer has literally just confronted Claire about JT. Um, saying that he knows basically um, there was a lot more information from those that two discussion um so i'm just gonna summarize, summarize it up real quick um clay didn't deny any of it piney was sitting there laying it all in, out to him um, basically dishing it all out to him that this is what happened i know this is what happened clay didn't deny any of it at all um he just said john laid his bike down on 580 and crashed into a semi 
That's what he said. He basically didn't deny it. Um, so that is basically a small little hint of Clay basically admitting that he killed JT. Um, which is just going to rocket high if Jax finds that out. Um, of course, Piney's going to need more proof if he was actually to tell Jax. Um, but nevertheless, this is what Piney is using this leverage to try and kill the cartel deal. Um, he believes that they truly and shouldn't be in drugs at all, or even doing stuff with the cartel. So he said, kill the drug, Newland, while let the rest of the club read the letters. Um, so he's threatening Clay, and he's got some leverage over him. So I'm going to see how this plays out. All alone, that takes your soul. You're on your own. Gotta look this life in the eye. And he says he knows I killed JT. He's threatening to tell the club. Are you serious? He says he found some old letters. I guess maybe Tara did tell somebody. We don't know that. I had John Teller killed while I was betting his wife. It doesn't matter what the reason was. Jax finds that out. He cuts off my goddamn head. He sticks it on the reaper pole. And we're gonna stop this in its tracks, you and me. I gotta be at the hospital. I'll go find him. And until I do, Clay, nothing happens. I promise. That, of course, Clay runs to Gemma. Um, of course, with John being the first one Gemma was with. Um, and it was a long time ago, they kind of thought it was history. He runs to Gemma. Um, it literally just, there's, this is why I said this episode is very crucial, because they've just admitted it. In this episode, it has been confirmed, and they've literally just admitted that they have killed John Teller, Jax's father. So the first thing that Clay said when he walked into the room was, Piney knows... But I killed JT. He's basically just admitted that he's, he's confirmed. He's basically just admitted that he's killed Jax's dad. Um, and there was a, a few other things that he said there. Um, what was the other one? I had John Teller killed whilst I was bedding his wife or something like that. Which is Gemma. He said, it doesn't matter what the reason is. Jax finds that out. He'll cut off my goddamn head and stick it on the Reaper Bowl. Which is true. Um, if Jax does find that out, it's going to set him on fire. So I 100% don't think they're going to get away with this. It's too, it's come out too much now. And now we know it's no longer rumours, it's actually confirmed. That's the worry here. Of, this is why I'm saying the future of the club is in jeopardy. Because it is not rumours anymore. From this point, from this episode, and this is why I said this episode is very crucial. From this point, it's confirmed that John Taylor was killed by Clay and Gemma. And answer covered it up. So, from this point, it is confirmed. So, mad. Absolutely mad. The writer has done really, really good creating this story. From this point, all the way up to this point, leaving us guessing. Um, there's still always other things. Like, as we get later on to the story, there is still other rumours. There's still other opinions of what other characters think of what happened in the situation. Um... But like Piney said to Clay in the last scene, um, this is one of the things that Piney said to Clay. Um, Lowell Senior, which if you remember in season one, Lowell, who had the kid Moby, um, his dad was Lowell Senior. That was the one that you remember in the morgue when they found those, all those, Tig and Clay found those bodies. And he was like, hey, Freako, we're not here to find you a date. And he's like, have you ever cold packed or anything like that? Um, that. Low Senior was one of the bodies in there, and that's the one they found in the hole off of 44. Um, he disappeared the next week, just after John's bike was getting worked, basically. So, John's bike was getting worked, and then the next week, Low Senior just magically disappears, but he was actually killed, which is a bit of a coincidence. Um, so, definitely, it's confirmed talks now, Clay has killed JT. And we all know that now, so we're going to see if Jax finds out or not. I need you to find him now. Probably wouldn't have him in a house. Uh, might be in a car or office. When you track him down, you give him to me. 
I'll get rid of him. That's it? That's it. Love you. Yeah, love you. You'll find those letters. God damn it. He's worried. The letters are in Tara's office. Lock desk drawer, accordion file. Grab everything, Wayne. You find him, and you bring him to me. Clay cannot get his hands on those letters. Understand? Yeah. Producer, director. She's under contract. Let's go talk to Don, though. He's waiting for me on set. I don't need to watch. Georgie had something to do with the last murder? That's what we're trying to find out. We need you to get him here. I'm not going to hook you up unless you crush that hyper douchebag skull. I loved Luann. She mentored me. She taught me that I was more than just a big cock. out that I got someone killed leveraging color. Hmm. I'll make sure your involvement with Juan Carlos is stricken from the record. No credit, no responsibility. Fair enough? Yeah. OK. You know we can't strike him from the record. Shit's already been up. I'm eating. I wish I'd have never found him. Lies were easier to stomach. Save the pain and sorrow for my old lady. I actually feel bad for some of the shit I've done. The lie you fed me about why John Teller needed to die? That wasn't a lie. He told me JT's weakness was going to bring violence to charming. War brewing with the Mayans. That was true. Not according to those. The end guns go legit. That's why you killed them. Had me cover it up. Are in there. You regret any of that? John was delusional with grief. And Gemma? Is she delusional too? Does she know the real reason why you killed her, old man? What's the matter, Chief? You afraid the love of your life betrayed you too? But the story just keeps getting even, even more intense. There was Clay and Ansel right there. Ansel said the letters said that. Clay made two attempts to try and kill JT. Two attempts, not just one, but two. Details are in there. So all the details of how Clay tried to kill JT is in the letters. I'm guessing before... I'm guessing John... Like, everything that happened to John before he died, he read it all down. Um, or, nevertheless, he suspected the ways that Clay would kill him and just waited for it to happen. Those are the only two scenarios that could have worked out. But... It made answer question Clay, does Gemma actually know the real reason why Clay killed her old man, basically? Um, I think she did know. I generally think that Gemma knew... I don't think she knew the details of how it was done. I don't think she knew details. I just generally think she knew that it, he was going to be the one doing it. Um, I generally think that she gave play the blessing to do it but i don't think she knew details and even it's still fucked up it's still wrong but i don't think i just think that's how it went down in my opinion that's how i believe it went down um, nevertheless that conversation was very intense very mad um they both had different opinions on the situation answers admitted that he feels bad for some of the things that he did or has done um, he said that JT's vi um, weakness was going to bring violence to Charmin or something like that. Um, that's what Clay told Answer. It's, it's just the whole story now is coming out and it's coming together. And now it is confirmed that Clay has killed JT. It's just... It's going to have to get leaked at some point. And this is, this is exactly, even though this happened a long time ago, like, I think... In one of the near future episodes, I'm just going to say a little spoiler right here. Um, just a small one, little one, it's not a big massive one. 
but Clay and Gemma have been together for like 20 years or something because Gemma mentioned that she, she's been with Clay for 20 years. Um, being those two together for 20 years and it happened that long ago, secrets always come out in the end. And this is the secret that is coming out. And even though it happened a long ago, like it's history technically, because it does feel like history because it happened that long time ago, it's just coming out now. So it is all coming out and everything comes out in the end. 20 years, 30 years, it may even be 50 years. It could have been double the time, it may even be 50 years. But it will eventually come out. And it is, it's starting to come out now and it is going to get leaked. And I've got a feeling that Jax is going to know pretty soon. Son of a bitch. Georgie, we need to talk. I didn't do anything! Hey! Shit! Now! Get out of here! Get out of here! These are copies. Originals are still out there. I searched her whole office. All she had. Some of it was too burnt to read. Who knows what else was in there? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna protect both of us. Shit, John wrote that the... too painful for you to read. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's done. Thank you, Wayne. You're welcome, sweetheart. In the um, string puller. You know, he needs a little bit of good faith. You must be kidding me with this shit. That shipment that you muled out of Tucson. He wants a sample. There's no coke. You tell me who is pushing it out in San Juan. We connect the cartel, leave Sam Crow out of it. It's a lose-lose if you fight me, Juice. Where are the rest of the guys? Rats on a coffee run, miles in the mine or somewhere around back. Come on, I'm just gonna do a walkthrough. Checking on my guys. It's all good. See you in the morning. Okay. Night. Night. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Say real quick. Um, I did say one of in one in one of the past episodes that the one member I feel like would be a rat would be Juice, um, and he is near enough halfway there. Um, he hasn't done anything like ratting yet, but if he doesn't put that brick back of what he took, and he doesn't get it back safely, or well, if he'd say if he gets it back safely and no one knows nothing about it, and he just puts it back, um, and he gets away with it. Um, he technically then hasn't ratted, but he has thought about it, so it's still technically a bad thing, but he still technically hasn't ratted, um, providing he still keeps his mouth shut. Um, but if he doesn't put it back, and he actually gives that sample over, I mean, all he had to get was a fucking sample and he took the whole brick, but if he doesn't, if he ha gets that sample and hands it over, he is a rat. He's just full on ratted. And this whole episode is just really crucial. It's really fucked. Well, it's a good episode, but it's just really, really. This is changed now. This whole series has changed, and it's only going to get worse. It always gets worse before it gets better. It's only going to get more worse than this, I'm telling you. Found him in Tara's office, locked in a desk drawer. Mostly just. Uh... Love letters to Maureen. I had to burn them. Suspicions don't mean shit. Nobody can hurt us. You broke? Was well, he here? Yeah, apartment. Yeah. Hey. Rough night. Really rough. 
That's all they need to it. Found birth control. Morning after pills and Lila's stuff. This whole time that I've been trying to have kids, she's been killing it off. Oh, God. Tapping that crazy bitch is your solution. Word for you. How long? A few months. Did you love her? No. She didn't love me. You were the only one who mattered. Did you find him? Yeah. George Caruso is the one who killed her. Did you finish it? Yeah. It took him out. Now, why is he lying to them? He could have just said the truth. Bobby has just put himself in it now. I don't know why he's he's lied up lied to I. Just tell the truth. Thirty keys here. Twenty nine. Yeah. So this is going to be the end of the episode guys, um, episode 5, a really really good smashing episode, um, I hope you understand or understood what I meant by a crucial episode, um, if you didn't watch this one and then you watch the next one you probably wouldn't get what was going to happen in the next one, um, but they've ended it off in a cliffhanger where there's only 29 bricks out of 30, so you can probably predict in the next episode they're going to be working out who took the last brick, um, but god, what an episode. Um, so throughout this episode we found out that it's confirmed talks that Clay has killed JT. So it's actually confirmed now, it's no longer rumours, it is actually confirmed that Clay has killed John Teller. Um, he even admitted, he said Piney knows that I killed JT, that's basically an admission. So he has admitted to it. Um, he was bedding Gemma, um, John's wife, while um, John was still alive. Um, it doesn't matter what the reason was for doing that. Um, if Jax does find that out, he is going to kill him. Um, that is just the straight up truth of it all. So it's good, really, really shit has hit the fan now. And it's only going to get worse. And Piney is getting involved in it. He's getting in the middle of it. Um, he's got some sort of leverage. He's threatening Clay left, right and centre. I've got a feeling that Piney is going to piss off Clay the wrong way may be forced for Clay to retaliate. Um, Gemma's also lied to Clay, saying that she's burnt the letters, but Clay's already read them. He knows they're copies, not the originals. So, and the, the other thing is, if you can't get your hands on the letters or the evidence, you go after normally the people who have um, who have read it, don't you? Who, or who have obtained that information. So, Tara and Piney are now in danger. And if you Clay can't get his hand on the evidence actually in writing, he's going to go after them. So it's just been a huge, huge fuck fest, and it is going to get hella good now. Um, anyway, I just wanted to end that episode here, like that, on a recap. Um, but it's been a really, really good episode. I've really enjoyed it. A lot better from the last one. It's really picked off from the last one. I thought the last episode was a really, it was good, but it was also such a downer, it was a bit slow. And then this episode is just shot right back up. So I'm really, really impressed with it. Um, this episode's been really good. And this is exactly what I meant by it being crucial. Um, this is a crucial episode to watch. I don't know how I'm going to put it in the title to engage you guys to watch. But I guess that's what the beginning of the episode was for. The introduction. So nevertheless, thank you all for the support, guys, in the recent episodes. Even the ones that were quite boring, not really much happened, not really entertaining. Um, but for episodes like these, thank you very much for your support. They do really come out in the analytics. And it does show a lot. Um, anyway, I appreciate it all, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one.